hello guys welcome and welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's class we'll be learning how to cut how to draft and cut a basic short necker okay with aging material so if this is what you're interested in learning if you really want to know how to draft and cut aging short necker let's dive into the video without wasting much of your time okay so i have the gym material here i got about one yard and you can see it's stretching one side it's a bit stretchy this side and this side it doesn't stretch at all okay so the first thing i'm just going to do is to fold my fabric and i want the side that is stretchy to be on a vertical line and the other side that doesn't stretch will be as a horizontal line okay so i'm going to mark out the length of my sh the short necker the length of the necker that i'm working with which is 18 inches and the extra two inches remaining there is going to serve as the hemming allowance okay then i have my waistline and for me to be able to get my crouch line and the hip line i'm just going to divide my hip measurement by four and that will serve as the crouch line so from the crush line i'm going to come up with two inches and this will serve as the hip line so after you are done getting these lines you have your waistline the hip line the crush line the length and then the hemming allowance so i'm going to divide my tie measurement by two okay for me to be able to get my the flap measurement okay the crotch measurement I'm going to divide my tie measurement by two and I'm going to place it on the crouch line then go ahead and mark it out okay then on the hip line I'm going to divide my hip measurement by four okay and whatever I have there I'm just going to place it on the hip line and mark it out as well So the next thing I'm going to do is to transfer whatever measurements I have on that hip line up to the down, to the waistline, okay? Just go ahead and transfer whatever measurements you have there to the waistline. So I'm going to measure it and whatever I have there, I'm going to mark it out on the waistline, just like this. Okay? Then after that, go ahead and connect the three dots, okay? I'll be using this ruler to connect from the waistline to the hip line. And then on the crouch line, I'm going to use my curve rule. But if you don't have a curve rule, let's go ahead and connect with our free hand. Okay. So on the waist measurement, I'm going to divide my waist round measurement by four. And I'm going to mark it out from starting from that line that we had earlier i'm going to mark it like this okay so as you can see this is the waist measurement divided by four and from that point we are marked now i'm going to connect it back to the hip line like this okay so this will help us to have that hip curve line okay so and on the crouch line i'm going to divide the measurement i have there i'm going to divide it into two and i will mark it out okay and then after that i'm going to transfer it down to the length of the necker okay so even if you are sewing a long or a short trouser this is very very important because it will help your trouser not to be shifting one side when you are working okay so it's very very important it will help your trouser to be very straight or your necker to stand straight so your necker will not be moving one side you understand okay so if you have any question you can kindly drop it down the comment section if you don't understand this part just drop your question down the comment section so after that i'm just going to connect these two lines this line like this okay to form a straight line so as you can see any other measurement that i'll be putting there i'll be dividing it into four 
it's supposed to be by by two but because of this line i'm going to be dividing the measurement by four okay so i'm going to divide my knee measurement which is the length of the um, short that i'm working with i'm going to divide it by four and i'll put half here and i'll put half the other side okay just go ahead and mark it down to the hemming allowance okay and then after that i'm going to connect from this point to this point and from the hip line to this point so if you watch very well you can see that um hip curve there so you can see it very well so from this part i'm going to come down by one an inch i'm going to come down by one inch okay and i'm going to connect it back to the um waistline just as you can see me doing like this So I'm going to start cutting it out, but now I'm not just going to cut out that part. I'm going to cut it like normal. After cutting the back piece, then I'll, I'll cut it out, okay? So we are done cutting the front piece. And if you notice very well, you understand that I did not add any allowance, okay? That is because the allowance will be on the back piece so i'm going to fold another fabric like this and then i'm going to place the front piece on top of it just like this so for the allowance i'm going to be adding extra to two inches i'm going to add um one and a half inch up okay and by the side which is the crouch area area i'm going to add extra to two inches to it So, but before that, let me just go ahead and extend all these lines here. Let me just go ahead and extend the line. So, I'm, I'll be adding extra to 2 inches from here. So, I'll go ahead and mark it out. Just as you can see me doing like this. So, guys, please, if you have not give this video a thumbs up, please do share this video so that more people can be able to see it if you have not subscribed please do not forget to hit the subscription button then after you are done you are go ahead and connect the whole dots just like this okay go ahead and connect them and after that from the upper side i'm going to connect it back to the um normal waistline okay i'm just going to connect it back the reason why I went up with one and a half inches is because of the back area so that when some when you bend down your um buttocks area will not be um showing okay that is the reason why I went up with that one and a half inches but it depends on the measurement that you're working with okay if you are working with uh plus size measurements you can go up by two and there is some measurement that you'll be working on you need to go up by two or one and a half or one even three okay so okay it depends on the measurement okay so after you are done cutting it out this is what you have so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out these parts okay so and after that we are done with the cutting of this beautiful jean so watch out for the sewing tutorial and thank you so very much for watching please do not forget to like share and comment also do not forget to subscribe if you have not okay so thank you so very much for watching our video see you next time on my next video we are posting the sewing tutorial bye